Hey, what's up guys, John here. Are you renting right now? Or maybe you're just looking at the cost of the world, wondering what you should do. Well, something big just happened in the real estate market. And I think it's gonna present one of the biggest investing opportunities of all time. So if you are in that category, you're looking for a way in which you can get to the next level in this expensive inflationary world, I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step plan with real property. I'm gonna show you real addresses and I'm gonna show you what you should be doing right now, how you could make, like if you were a doctor, it would probably take you 10 years to save up this amount of money that you'd be able to do in just one deal if you follow these steps and you do so exactly like I'm saying here. I'm gonna give you some real, real good information. If you can, hit the like button. YouTube will share this content to educate other people in a very, very similar situation that are looking for ways in which they can level up. And if you wanna fix your credit, we'd love to help you at my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. Uh, if you have late payments, medical bills, collections, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, any negative item on your credit report holding down your score, go to greatcreditfast.com. As the world gets more expensive and interest rates continue to rise, you're gonna want exceptional credit so you have more options to money to get financing for these deals. So here's what's going on. So Fannie Mae slashes down payment requirements for multifamily homes, 5% down, just 5% down. And this is for two, three, and four unit properties. So before they were 15 to 25% as a down payment. So on a $500,000 property, putting you know 100 grand down, a lot of people just not able to do it. But now that $500,000 property with 5% down, 25K, people can do that. You know, it's not the end of the world for a lot of people to come up with that kind of money. Because if you're living in an expensive market like Los Angeles, the average rent's probably three grand a month. So first month, last month in deposit, you're already out nine, 10 grand. It's twice what it would cost to move into an apartment, right? To get into one of these deals. Now I've done these deals before and the amount of sacrifice that goes into this to do the right deal is astronomical. Nothing is easy. At the end of the day, there's no get rich quick that actually is real it takes sacrifice. Like the amount of sacrifice that I've had to go through has been dramatic, but the amount of money that I made from it, I couldn't have made anywhere else. So here's an example, and here's what you look for. So what you're looking for is you're looking for an expensive market in which you can buy deals and you're buying these deals based on a few variables. So why I like this market right here. So here's Los Angeles. There's something that is happening here that not many people are aware of. When you have this rear alley, Many people think, oh, an alley is actually a bad thing because you know it brings crime and you know transients and people like that. No, the alley is actually the best asset for you because due to uh, building and safety requirements, they need parking, right? If you want to build units, if you want to do anything, and you have an alley in the back, you can bring through the park. You can bring the parking through the real rear alley. So if you have a property that has a parking that you can bring through the alley. You have the right zoning, which is RD 1.5, which is four units, or R3, R4 zoning. You're able to build multiple units on these properties. So what you're looking for is you're looking for a couple things. You're looking to buy something, like look at this, 449K, right? You have 545K. You have, there's tons and tons and tons of these deals all throughout LA where they're in that you know four, five, 600K price point. So if you're looking for a really good deal, you want the rear alley, you want to buy it based on it presently having very, very low rents. You wanna buy it based on ideally being close to a metro because if it's close to a metro and the world gets more expensive, people, the first thing people have to cut out is likely gonna be their car. $740 car payment plus gas and insurance costing them 1500 bucks a month, 1400 bucks a month to drive. So if you're saying, hey, look, live at my property, take the metro every day. It might cost you 20 bucks a month, 50 bucks a month to take the metro. People are gonna to wanna to do that. So if you're able to buy these deals based on this formula, uh, here's how it would work. So here's another deal. This is, um, here's another one on 43rd Street. This is near downtown LA, same situation. They, they wanted 595 for this, right next to USC, right? So there's so many of these deals popping up everywhere. So if you can buy one of these deals with 5% down and you have good credit right now, the total payment would be 4,756 bucks a month. Sounds a lot, but it's actually not at all a lot of money. And here's how you can make a fortune. So example, let's say it's this property here. Let's say, we'll just pick one randomly. We'll say, um, look for one around 500 grand. Like here, 599. You're gonna start seeing here 499, but let's just pick this one for 599 right? This actually, this is nine bedrooms. It's huge. So this right here, um, you know, any of these deals. So what you want to do is if let's say this is a duplex, right? This is presently a duplex and the yep, wonderful duplex. So here's what you want to do. If you can rent out each of these units for 2,500 bucks, right? It will essentially offset your entire mortgage cost. It will offset your entire mortgage cost. 
Then what you're looking to do, and you might not be able to, there might be, it might be rent control, there may be tenants inside, maybe you can strike a deal or you can do an owner occupancy move in where you move into the unit, you occupy the unit, you have to live there for two years, um, unless the law recently changed. So you live in that unit, you have to pay them relocation fees, it might be eight grand, 10 grand. Um, but sometimes you can negotiate inside of the escrow that these are delivered vacant, but it, it all, it, it, it's a deal by deal basis uh, with Los Angeles and rent control. But if you're able to move in and you're able to rent out these units for 2,500 bucks, it totally offsets your mortgage. So something to think about when you're looking for these deals. The other thing though, is if they, if they need a little bit of work and let's say they're currently renting for 1,200 or 1,500, and this happens all the time in LA where it's a rent control unit and the tenants have been there for a very, very long time, they'd be open to moving if you'd pay them. Then you end up you know, paying them, striking them a check, they end up moving out, you fix it up, you re -rent, you renovate the unit, you take it back to the bank and you refinance and you pull out a lot of money. So if you pull out a lot of money and there's a rear alley in the back, like there are on, on nearly all of these properties, then you're able to take that money and invest. You might be able to build a duplex or an ADU on the back. If you're able to build an ADU on the back and rent out each of those units or duplex in the back and rent out each of those units for 2,500 bucks each, that's $10,000 a month in monthly income, monthly gross income. And if your carrying costs are 4,756 bucks a month, you're making five grand profit per month. Uh, this is an easy way for people to step in to the real estate game. And with 5% down, I mean, it's a, it's the easiest way. A lot of people are like, oh no, you want to be a house flipper. I mean, shiny object syndrome. If the house flip doesn't work out and you buy this property, hoping to be able to flip it to a, a new owner user and the market you know, keeps going up like it's going up right now, interest rates keep going up, that buyer might not be there, right? So now you're sitting on this asset, you might not be able to rent, you can't sell it, you're screwed, right? But with one of these deals, if everything kind of hits the fan, you live in one of these units, right? You live in one unit, you rent out the other units, like you, you set yourself up. You set yourself up for long-term success. So here's where mortgage rates are right now. If you have bad credit, it's 8.875%. If you have great credit, 8%. So here, it's so crazy. A lot of people don't realize this. 8% is 4,756 bucks on a $550,000 purchase with 5% down. But 8.875%, it goes from 4,756 bucks to $5,079. So essentially it costs you an extra 300 bucks a month, $3,600 per year, right? And over a hundred grand over 30 years, right? So it's a massive, massive number, the difference between having good credit and bad credit when you buy a property. So what I think is very likely gonna happen is I think mortgage rates are gonna continue to rise. And I saw this article from CNBC, I thought it was very, very fascinating. Uh, they're saying institutional investors are gonna control 40%, may control, which means they're going to control 40% of the US single family rental homes in the next six years. So they currently own 5%, they're gonna increase their position by 800% over the next six years. Where are they gonna get this inventory? Likely from small business owners, mom and pop investors, people that have you know second home or a little vacation home. The economy continues to get worse and people are gonna be forced to sell up these assets. Now am I saying to go out there right now and invest and buy these properties for 600 grand or 700 grand or something like that? I'm saying learn, learn the strategy in which is easiest to build wealth and to build safety and security a financial safety and security for yourself and your family. And buying these two to four unit properties is gonna be the easiest way to do that. Uh, I mean, I've had so many situations. My wife is absolutely amazing, by the way, because when we would buy and live in one of these units, roaches, rats, absolutely disgusting. We would live in one, like in a bedroom and they're doing drywall in the living room. And you know, we would you know, go stay somewhere else for a few days while they did drywall in the bedroom. And we would go back and forth and do all that because the neighborhood was so sketchy that we had to do it because people would break in and steal our stuff or try to you know, rip everything out. Um, so we would literally just make these sacrifices and do one unit to the next. And we would stay at the property until everything was completely finished. Right. But a lot of people today, they, you know, they want to live you know, this beautiful lifestyle. You know, everyone wants to, you know, keep up with the Joneses and make everything look like everything is great. Make the sacrifices. If you can find the right deal, it's worth taking the sacrifice. It really is because that one deal, if you were to buy, let's say this duplex, right? Let's just say for 600 grand, you're able to buy the duplex and then you're able to uh, get a home equity line of credit out or some type of line of credit to build a duplex in the back and the building is pulling in 10 grand a month what is that property worth, right? Probably double, right? The value of the building is essentially doubled. And so when you have that situation and you're able to, you know, maybe you're a married couple and you end up selling the property and you make 500 grand, that's tax-free, 
that's tax free. So if you were a doctor making 200 grand a year and you're paying 37% to the federal government and you're living in California paying another 14%, you know, you're giving up half your income. But a year we'll pull out 500 grand tax free. I'm not gonna be able to do that in a lot of other careers. So if you're able to do this and, and owner occupy uh, one of these properties and get a 30 year fixed rate mortgage, have a situation where the tenants are essentially paying down the debt, you're taking on very, very little risk and you're making very, very smart decisions because you're doing so, like with it, with this type of deal, the land alone is probably worth 350, 400 grand, right? And the structure, if you were to build it today, it would probably cost you 250, 300 bucks a foot to build it. So when you're looking at a situation 1,375 square feet at 200 bucks a foot, you're looking at you know another few hundred grand just to build that property, plus the cost of the land. This, this deal, you couldn't duplicate it for the same price. So if you're able to buy it at a, at a significant discount to that, you're, you're winning. And then you're able to build on the rear units, massive, massive, massive win. So people right now that are renting, they're not sure what to do. This is what people should be doing. They should be looking in areas that are expensive, where they can buy deals near a metro, ideally, where the current rents are much lower than what they should be, where you can add value, maybe add a unit, and you can do so with very, very little, little to no risk, and you move into one of those units and you get uh, your fingers dirty. Because, I mean, this is gonna teach you a lot about uh, being a landlord, it's gonna teach you a lot about tenants, it's gonna teach you a lot about problems that come up, it's gonna teach you a lot about real estate. And then when you scale from this first unit, and let's say, for example, you did that, you built out the four units, and let's say the next deal, you're like, I wanna buy a home. Well, if you wanna buy a home at the next deal and you're renting out all the units at 2,500 bucks, you're making five grand a month, you're able to basically buy that house. It might be a million dollar house. Maybe the payment's six grand a month. 5,000 will be coming over from that other unit or that other that other deal, right? So you'd be coming out of pocket a thousand bucks a month. Or maybe you wanted to do the same deal again and do the same situation again and you know set yourself up forever. So this is the easiest way to make money. And I think this new FHA uh, or this new Fannie Mae situation is, uh, is gonna present a lot of opportunities and there's gonna be a lot a lot of sellers trying to sell off these properties as the economy gets worse, uh, which is gonna happen, right? The economy is likely gonna get much, much, much worse, 2024, 2025. So position yourself, look at these deals, start to understand and learn about these deals. And if you need help fixing your credit, position yourself, your credit score, uh, so you can get the best financing available, we'd love to give you a free consultation at my company, greatcreditfast.com. You can find more information in the link below. I'll catch you guys in the next video.